Hi everyone, it's Angela from Discount School Supply. Thank you for joining me here on this Wednesday. We're here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And like always, tonight I wanna give away 10 prizes. So to be entered for those prizes, all you have to do is like, share, leave a comment. All the things will get you entered into that. As always, we want you to engage with us. Send us questions, give us topics you want us to talk about. If we're showing you something and you use it in a different way in your home, school, or classroom, or center, go ahead and leave those comments as well because we all learn best from each other. None of us is as smart as all of us. So tonight, I'm gonna to talk about pony beads and we're gonna talk about different ways that you can use them. Tonight, I have our Fun Shapes Pony Beads. We also have uh, plain pony beads, pony beads with glitter. We have a lot of pony beads because there are a lot of great things you can do with them. Not only can you use them in crafting, but you can use them for other things. And tonight we're gonna to talk about that. So what I have here is our pony bead bracelets. So they snap together. Some of you may have those silver bracelets that you collect the little things on. You're gonna do the same thing here. Now, some of you are saying bracelet, you know, what about my girls that don't like bracelets or boys that don't like bracelets? You can also call this a collection ring. So I'm gonna give you a couple ideas for that. <clears throat> so for the fun shapes, we have great shapes here like hearts, flowers, stars, and we have a variety of colors. So there's several ways you can do this. <clears throat> the first way is you can make each shape mean something. So if you earned a star, that means you had great behavior today. If you earned a heart, that means you showed caring or you did something nice for someone. You could have a flower like you grew your mind. You thought of something new. You, you know, gave the class a different way to use, you know, the math tool or whatever. So there's a variety of ways you can do this. I'm going to start filling up this bracelet. The other thing you can do if in your classroom you do behavior, these can simply be behavior points or you know, those kids that have those special behavior plans where they have to earn a certain amount of points or beads or whatever for the week, this is a great way to do it. So let me start over here. The other thing you can do is you can make these rings of different colors for different things. So the blue could be behavior, the pink could be um, for um, not just behavior, but maybe like caring, sharing, etc. And then you could have like purple to be books, like the amount of books you've read. So there's a variety of different ways to use these pony bead bracelets and these pony beads. You can even make the beads worth different points. All the cool colors, like the greens, the blues, and purples, maybe those are worth one point. And then all the warmer colors, the reds, the hot pinks, the light pinks, those could be worth five points. I know when I taught second grade, my students loved collecting points. And then they would turn their points in for things. Now remember, whether you're in second grade, fifth grade, preschool, points can go for prizes, but prizes don't have to be physical objects. My students used to love to eat lunch in the room with me because it, the school I was at, the kids all ate in the cafeteria. So if they got to eat in the room with me, they thought that was something special. And I used to charge them like 100 points for it. It was a lot, it was not a little. The best thing about that is the kids that earn those points are so grateful and they love spending time with you. Another thing you can do if you use pony beads for points is they can have extra time on the computer. They can choose the book you're gonna read that week. I think the thing I like about collecting them on the little rings is once the ring is full, you can send it home. And it's like better than a reward certificate. Um, another neat thing you could do is you could take pictures of all of these beads separately and you can make a chart about you know, what each one is worth or what each one is for. Like I said, there's a variety of ways to use them. Again, they're great for art. We all love including art as much as we can, but how much fun would it be to use pony beads in a different way. I hope you got a great idea tonight and I will see you next time.
Again, my name is Angela. Bye.